Hey everybody, this is Ben Kessler Crane. Uh, so I'm gonna do an unboxing uh, so we can show you guys exactly what you're getting when you order it and exactly how to set stuff up. Um, so the first product that we're gonna do this for is our quick plate receiver for the Movi Pro and the Movi M5. So right here we got the quick plate for the Movi Pro. And that's gonna come with the quick plate, quick plate receiver. It's gonna come with screws, and it's gonna come with a three 2.5 and two millimeter Allen wrench to install that stuff. And then we have the quick plate adapter for the Mobi M5. And it's gonna come with the same stuff. The receiver plate's a little bit different on the M5 uh, than it is on the Pro, and it comes with one extra Allen wrench because it is a little bit different. This is our quick plate for the Mobi. Uh, the quick plate for the Mobi is the same for the M5 and the Pro, but what's different is this little adapter that goes under your Mobi that allows you to use the quick plate. So this plate here is for the Mobi M5. And so like I said earlier, it comes with an extra Allen wrench because when you tighten this down on the Mobi M5, you also have to tighten down these little screws on the ends. Alright, so this is our quick plate for the Movi Pro, and we're going to show you how to install that in this video. So this is our Movi Pro. Currently, it has the standard uh, plate that comes with the Movi Pro, and we're going to change that out for our quick plate. So a couple problems with the plate on the Movi. One, if you're using a Kessler quick plate receiver, uh, when you take your camera off, you have to install a new plate on your camera and then you can put it on a slider or a tripod. So it's not quick when you're moving from platform to platform. Plus, the Mobi uh, plate slides off. So if you're trying to balance your camera and you let go, it just slides off and makes it difficult. So we're going to take off the factory receiver here. So you're gonna have three screws down here and we're gonna take all three of those off. So now we have a screw here and a screw here that we need to take off. And that is a different sized Allen wrench, so we're going to get our other Allen wrench that comes in your kit. Notice that there are two springs right there. So, when you take your plate from Kessler, you're going to want to take those two springs and put them into the two holes on the Kessler plate. And then we're going to install this plate exactly how the other one came off. There we go. It's going to go back on. We're going to use our screws that came with our kit from Kessler. So now that we have our plate on, we can install this back onto our Movi, the same way we took it off. Go. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to install our plate onto our camera. So I've got our red here. We 
and we're going to install this plate. When you look at the underside of the plate, you'll notice there's a red catch right here. That's going to be the back. So you want your lens facing this silver bolt, the back of the camera facing that red catch. So now that we have our plate on our camera, we're going to slide it onto the movie. So, take your camera. You're going to want to unlock this lever here. Slide it on, and then relock that lever. And then you can start to balance out your camera. Obviously, you're going to have a lens and all that other stuff on it. Uh, the nice thing is, again, with the numbering on the side of the plate, you can remember uh, when your camera is balanced exactly where it is on that measurement. So if you're going from one system to another, you can quickly go back to the Movi and remember that you are at 120 millimeters. You can slide it on and be balanced very quickly. When you're taking the camera off, uh, one nice feature about this quick plate is that it holds the camera on even when it's not locked. So if you're balancing your camera and you let go and your Movi uh, starts wobbling all over the place, you don't have to worry about your camera sliding off the Movi like you do with a factory plate. To take the camera off of the Movi, you're gonna press the red lever on the back of the quick plate and then slide it forward and that'll allow the camera to slide off the Movi. The nice thing about the Kessler Quick Plate is that you can go from your Movi to any Kessler Quick Release receiver. Whether it's on a slider, a tripod, a jib, uh, or a crane, you can take your camera right off of your Movi, and then you can snap it right on to any Kessler Quick Plate receiver. Last thing I'm going to talk about is an accessory for the Kessler Quick Plate for the Movi M5 and Pro and that is the 15 millimeter rod adapter. The one I have here is the one that comes with an adjustable bracket for height. We also sell it without the bracket. Uh, so I'm gonna open that up. And I went ahead and removed the plastic already, so I'm not having to cut the plastic coverings off this stuff. And it's gonna come with two Allen wrenches, your 15 millimeter rod adapter, uh, your height adjustment bracket, and two screws that are going to allow you to put it on. So now we're going to go ahead and install this onto our quick plate. So we're going to take these two screws, we're going to screw them onto the front, and that's it. It's really easy to adjust height with the 15 millimeter rod adapter. All you have to do is loosen these two screws and then you can adjust the height. We also sell this without the height adjustment bracket uh, if you want that as well. Uh, you can save a little money, but I really like to have the option of being able to move that up and down depending on what kind of lens I'm using. So this is a really great accessory that you can add on to your quick plate adapter for the Movi M5 and Movi Pro because uh, a lot of people do use 15 millimeter rods with those. So now you guys know how to install your quick release plate for your Movi M5 or Movi Pro. You've got a cool idea for an accessory if you want to go that route. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email us at support at kesslercrane.com. Uh, and then I'll see you next time for our next tutorial video and unboxing. Thanks so much.